Hey, good evening. Hi, teacher again. How are you doing? Hey, welcome back, Ra. It's good we didn't have to wait too much time, right? Yeah, right. It was pretty fast. How are you doing, teacher? Good, good. A nice weekend, a chance to relax. Everything is okay. And how about you, Rafa? How's everything? Well, I almost stayed out of the class because one of the people of the chart had sent information on time. Oh, so almost, you almost missed the class. Yeah. And uh, I, I have to, I have to talk with uh, the manager of the HR Oof. to request help to her. <laughs> but to do to do the paperwork quickly. Yep. Okay. But it was good. You were then. You got everything done. They took a long time. Yep. For HR this time, huh? Or maybe they sent the information very late from uh, English Corporativo. This, the, uh, uh, he sent the information until today at fair at three thirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Okay. Well, let's see. We got a couple new people. Let's see. Javier, how are you? I think Javier has. He's on. Uh, you're on mute, Javier. Don't worry, you can try to fix it, no problem. Uh, Ana Vilma, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you doing, Ana? A little tired. Yeah? Yes. Why, what happened? Um, the work. Uh, I have to um walk and and it's rain uh, so yeah. uh, <laughs> yes but here i am okay okay yeah it's a problem sometimes right yes the traffic wa was terrible and and where do you work i'm working in i 33 oh, okay mm -hmm. Do you like? Yeah. Sorry. Do you like working there? Yes. Yes. It's good. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's funny. It's a lot of work. I am in the in human resources department, oh, and uh, okay. a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. Yes. Yeah. Did you fix the microphone? No, okay, maybe not. Okay. Hey, there you go. Now we can see you, Anna. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you at home? Yes, in my home. Okay, good. It's time to relax. Fin yes, finally. <laughs> finally, right? Yes. Good. Well, it's great um, to, to have you guys. I'm sure there's more people that are going to come in a little bit later. Ah, here we go. <laughs> here are more people connecting in this moment. We'll, we'll give them just a sec to get in, okay? So we got Henry, we got Yancy, we got Mirna. Everybody's starting to connect little by little. Okay. We'll see. Okay, guys. So the important is the first thing we're going to do is just take a moment and get to know each other a little bit. Um, some of you already were together in the last module 
and some of you are new in this module, okay? Is, this, is there anybody that this is the first time they are with Inglés Corporativo? Javier? Hello. Hey, now we can hear you, Javier. Now we can hear you. The connection is, is um, I don't know to say, is demasiado lenta. Ah, is, okay, okay. It's too slow. Uh, yes, it's too slow. Okay. Well, in that case, Javier, if the connection is slow, it's better that you uh, turn off your camera. And if you turn off your camera, it'll be easier. That way you're, because with, without the camera, it, it's easier for the internet. And mm. you won't have problems with the sound. Okay, guys. Yeah, you too, Jan, no problem. If you have problems with the internet, if you have to turn off the camera, it's okay. Sometimes only with turning the camera, this is the solution. And this helps. Okay. All right, well, let me explain for those that are new, just in case, um, I'll, I'll explain a little bit about how it works and then we can get started. Let me share my screen with you guys so we can see. Okay, so this is Intermedio Modulo 3. So Intermediate Module 3. The idea is there are five sections. The first two weeks, we're going to work in sections one, two, and three. This means we're going to complete these three sections in eight days, this week and next week. And then the last two weeks, we're going to complete sections four and five, focusing on completing the sections and focusing on speaking mainly in the last two weeks. The first weeks are about exercises, grammar, vocabulary, and then in the last ones, we try to focus a little bit more on having our abilities to talk, to speak and interact. In section three, we have an exam. It's called a midterm. This midterm is about unit one, two, and three, okay? Then in section five, we have a final exam. This final exam is units one, two, three, four, and five is the entire module. So you're going to have two exams, one exam for the first half, which is next week, and then one exam in four weeks, which is the final exam. In this moment, are there any questions? No, teacher. No. Okay. Not no, teacher. Okay, perfect. Now, you need to have a grade of 80 or more. So you need to have 80% or more in all of the activities. What are the activities? Well, when you click in the section, there are many different activities, but I'll show you. The ones that have this symbol right here with the pencil and the notebook or the notepad, this is the idea for knowledge check. In the knowledge check is where you receive your grades. So as an example, the book, it tells you the objective. Here, it gives you the explanation. And then this is for you to practice. In each of these exercises where you have the little book, you need to receive a grade of 80 or more. If you have a lower grade, it's okay. You can repeat the exercise until you get a better grade. How do you check your progress? In your list, you go where it says progress, and there you're going to be able to see your grades, okay? Here you're going to see for each section, what are your grades? And here you're going to be able to see the total, the total for the course, and the total for each section, including the midterm and the final exam. In order to pass, is necessary minimum the grade 80. That's the necessary grade to pass. Where do we see the grades? In progress, then you only go down and you can see section by section if you want, or you can see all of the grades in general right there. Any questions? No. 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 Okay, good. And if you have questions, don't worry. 
you can ask me and we can help. It's not a problem, okay? So what is the first objective for the lesson? Today's lesson is then we are going to learn about the passive voice using by. Before we begin, it's important that we get to know each other and we get to interact a little bit, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make little groups and then in our groups, we're going to practice. We're going to introduce ourselves. Where do we work? What do we do? Why do we study English? All of the information that is necessary. So, right, I'll give you an example. So an example, my name is Edwin. And I work at Inglés Corporativo, but I also have other jobs where I teach English. I actually have three jobs where I teach English. My first class is at seven o'clock in the morning, and my last class is at 10 o'clock at night. After this class, I have another one. And I also go to the university. I am studying business administration, and I love to teach, and that's why I teach so many classes. I also enjoy going out with my family, I have many things that I like to do, like reading, the last book that I read, and that's it, like that. You are going to tell your partner, what do you like to do? Where do you work? What are your hobbies? Why do you want to study? Just an interaction, like a, like a normal introduction conversation. Is that okay? Okay. It's okay. Yes, okay. Perfect. For this, we're going to have groups of three, Groups of three, that way we can interact a little bit more, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, good. So, let's try it. Whoops. Hang on. I think... Okay, I think we have more people. So let's see if we can make different groups. If not, the groups are going to be too good. Okay. Let's try one more time. Omar, are you okay? You have problems connecting, Omar? Omar, are you okay? Hi, welcome to another module. This time we'll study passive with by. But before we go deep into the topic, let me tell you what passive voice does to a sentence. Passive voice changes the emphasis on a sentence. In other words, we may say the same thing in a different way. 
You may be wondering when to use it. Passive voice is the best way to express an idea when, number one, we don't know who did the action, number two, there's no doer of an action, and number three, the fact is more important than the doer of an action. As always, I will ask you to stay around and stay for the explanation. We will compare active with passive, so you see the difference and notice the emphasis on each one. We will give you examples of each use, as well as the structure of passive voice. Passive with by, simple past. The passive changes the focus of a sentence. For the simple past, use the past of be plus past participle. Active. The president opened the building in 1931. Passive. It was opened by the president in 1931. Active. An American architect designed the building. Passive. It was designed by an American architect. I have this scrabble sentence for you. My sister, this book, in 2010, wrote. Can you try to unscramble the sentence and make sense of it? I will give you 15 seconds. Great. So we came up with, my sister wrote this book in 2010. Now in English, we can say the same things in another way. Let's work with another scramble sentence and let's do the same and scramble it and make sense of it. This time, I will give you 20 seconds. My sister, this book, by, in 2010, written, was. Were you able to do it? I hope you did. This book was written by my sister in 2010. Now let's take a look at each sentence. In this first sentence, which by the way is in active voice, the emphasis is on my sister. It was not Susanna who wrote the book, it was my sister. This book was written by my sister this book is the object, was, was or were, written is the past participle of the verb, by, by, my sister is the subject. In this second sentence, we're using passive voice and the emphasis is on this book. The most important fact is that the book was written. Now let's write examples for the uses previously mentioned in our intro video. Remember? We don't know who did the action. My house was broken into on Friday. Who broke into our house? We don't know. Number two, there is no doer of the action. He was killed in an earthquake. There is no doer of this action. The last use, the fact is more important than the doer of the action. My dog was run over by a car. What happened to my dog is more important than the doer. Finally, let's go over the structure of the passive and simple past. Because we're using passive in simple past, this is what we'll use. Was, were, plus past participle. Before we go, we want you to work on the following sentences so you're able to practice. Our sentences are in active voice. Your work is to switch them to passive voice. Please write them on our discussion box. Number one, mom prepared the food. Number two, all the employees read the memo. Number three, the boy ate the cake. But before we go deep into the topic, let me tell you what passive voice does to a sentence. 
passive voice changes the emphasis on a sentence. In other words, we may say the same thing in a different way. You may be wondering when to use it. Passive voice is the best way to express an idea when, number one, we don't know who did the action, number two, there's no doer of an action, and number three, the fact is more important than the doer of an action. As always, I will ask you to stay around and stay for the explanation. We will compare active with passive, so you see the difference and notice the emphasis on each one. We will give you examples of each use, as well as the structure of passive voice. Passive with by, simple past. The passive changes the focus of a sentence. For the simple past, use the past of be plus past participle. Active. The president opened the building in 1931. Passive. It was opened by the president in 1931. Active. An American architect designed the building. Passive. It was designed by an American architect. I have this scrambled sentence for you. My sister, this book, in 2010, wrote. Can you try to unscramble the sentence and make sense of it? I will give you 15 seconds. Great. So we came up with, my sister wrote this book in 2010. Now in English, we can say the same things in another way. Let's work with another scramble sentence and let's do the same and scramble it and make sense of it. This time, I will give you 20 seconds. My sister, this book, by in 2010, written was, past participle of the verb, Sister. It was not Susanna who wrote the book. It was a sentence which, by the way, now let's take a look at it. The book was written by my sister in 2010. Okay, great to see everybody interacting. I love to see that many people have their cameras on. It's good, it's nice. It's not the same when you don't have the camera, even if we hear you because the interaction, the face is different, is different. So good, that's a great job that you guys, the ones that have it is great. Sometimes it's not possible because of the internet, but I'm glad, okay? And I hope everybody got to know each other a little bit. Do you have any questions or anything that you wanted to say and you you didn't know how to say with your partner? I like maybe vocabulary from your job or your position. Is there any word that you need? I had a question. Go ahead, Yancy. Uh, how did you say multimedia is the same in English? It is, it is the same, only the pronunciation is multimedia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other words? Go ahead, Ever. Enough for now. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my question is how uh, do you say bachillerato in English? High school graduate. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Bachelor is like the next for the university. Sometimes, correct. Bachelor is two meanings. One meaning is the education, like the university when you receive your degree. And the other bachelor is when you are single, before you get married, you are a bachelor. 
Like a candidato? No, no, no. Like a bachelor party. A bachelor ah. party. You are single? Is that you are okay. married? Mm -hmm. Hey, okay. a girlfriend? No, I'm a bachelor. Okay. Thanks for the, the explanation. And you're welcome. So it has two meanings. Yes. Any other words? Hi. Uh, yes, yes, Anna. I have a question. When you okay. say, when you say to study in Universidad de Salvador, or you have to uh, translate the Salvador University, what is the correct? Uh, well, it is, it, the correct would be, I study at a, Salvador University, or I study at the National University. The National University. Mm -hmm. okay. Or I work at the National University. Okay. Was that the only other word or any other question? Okay, great. So today we're going to be starting off and looking at the idea for active and passive voice. Do you remember, have you heard of this term before, active and passive? Yes. Yes. What, what do you remember was active or passive? Um, I remember that it, it, when you use the passive form, you um, formulate uh, the phrase in uh, in a different order. Uh, for example, you don't give so much. Uh, uh, you don't care that much about the subject uh, because you care more about the action or something. Oh. Like that. Very good. That's a good idea. Anything else? I remember in the action voice, the subject do it the action and the passive, the, the subject is not necessary do it the action, but I, I don't know, more or less. It's, it's good idea. If you look at the chat, we can see that we have it. We have active versus passive voice. That's today's topic. Sorry, I forgot to put us, or I don't know what happened with the space, but it's active versus passive, okay? And we looked a little bit at what is the active, okay? Be like this, active versus passive. Um, the active is we focus on the person. The person does the action. In the passive voice, the person is not important. It's the action that's important. In this moment, I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see the grammar structure of how we make the difference between an active and a passive sentence. Now let's take a look at each sentence. In this first sentence, which by the way. Here's the first sentence. And this sentence is active. Why is active? Because we focus on the subject that does the action, on the person who does the action. That's what makes it active. It's an active voice. The emphasis is on my sister. It was not Susana who wrote the book. It was my sister. This book was written by my sister. This book is the object, was, was or were. Written is the past participle of the verb, by, by, my sister is the subject. Okay, now here we can see the passive. What is the passive? Now we are not focusing on the action. We're focusing on what or the object. The object is this book. And what happened to the book? Ah, the book was written. Not who wrote the book. We can describe who using by and then the name of the person. This is the passive. In this second sentence, we're using passive voice and the emphasis is on this book. The most important fact is that the book was written. 
Now let's write examples for the uses previously mentioned in our intro video. Remember, we don't know who did the action. My house was broken into on Friday. Who broke into our house? We don't know. Because we don't know, this is the passive. Because someone did this action to the house. The house did not do this action. That is the difference. Remember, passive receives the action. Active does the, act, does the action. Okay. Here are some more examples. Number two, there is no doer of the action. He was killed in an earthquake. There is no doer of this action. The last use, the fact is more important than the doer of the action. My dog was run over by a car. What happened to my dog is more important than the doer. Finally, let's go over the structure of the passive and simple past. Because we're using passive in simple past, this is what we'll use. Was, were, plus past participle. Before we go, we want you to work on the following sentences so you're able to practice. Our sentences are in active voice. Your work is to switch them to passive voice. Please write them on a discussion box. Number one, mom prepared the food. Number two, all the employees read the memo. Number three, the boy ate the cake. Okay. It's okay, the idea between passive and active? Do we understand the difference? Yes. Are there any questions in this moment? Yes, I have a question. Okay. In the passive voice, the auxiliary verb is to be, but in past uh, form, ever. No, the ever is not the is not the verb to be. Was were? Ah, uh, yes. Was or were? Yes, exactly. Yes. Okay. Always is necessary the verb to be, correct. In the passive voice, is obligation to use the verb to be. You have to use it in one form or another. It can be uh, was, were, is, are. It doesn't matter, but it's obligation to have a verb to be. That is correct. But it's not obligation in the past form. No, past not, form of the verb. No, it is not an obligation in the past form. Why? Because the passive is not a time. The passive is a form to express yourself. Okay. When we focus on okay. the action, when we focus on who did the action is active. When we focus on what happened, that is the passive. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so as an example, sorry, here. sorry, yes, sorry, yes. teacher, Dalia. you yeah, repeat the the last. Yes, Mom. it's about the passive focus around the pasta. Okay, there's a, the focus is always we use the verb to be. We focus that is obligation the verb to be and the past participle. Okay, and always the difference is that the active, we focus on the person who did the action. In the passive, we don't care. It's not important who did the action, okay? So as an example, the wall here, this wall was painted. It doesn't matter who, it's not important who painted the wall. Only important the action, it was painted. The second, the active, yes, it's important. I painted the wall. Ah, the important is me. But in the passive, it's not important me. Important, that action completed. Like in your company. In your company, sometimes it's not important who corrected the problem. It's not important who helped the customer. It's only important the problem is solved. It's only important the customer is happy. That is the active and the passive. The active focus on the person, 
the fact the passive focus on who received the action. So we have the customer's problem. Okay, what happened with the customer's problem? Ah, the customer's problem was solved. Ah, by who? Ah, by Carla, by Henry, by Omar, by El. This is the difference. Okay, that is the passive. Focus on. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I, I have a question. Anybody else have any questions? I have a question. Yes, Anna. Um, the verb uh, that we use when we want to express in passive voice always has to be past participle or Yes. Change. No, you are okay. correct, Anna. Always, always has to be the past participle and always has to be with the verb to be. It doesn't matter if active voice uh, you write in present, past. Or... No, it doesn't. And I will give you the example that the difference okay. is the verb to be is going to be the, the time. Remember, the verb to be is going to tell you the time, not the verb in the past participle. Okay. So um, let's see. I have, for example, I use you, Anna. Anna kicks the ball. This is in present. It's in the chat. Okay. This is active. In the passive, I focus on the object. The ball is kicked. If I want to explain who, I say the ball is kicked by Anna. This is in the present. In the past, okay, I put in the active. Anna kicked ED, Anna kicked the ball. This is the active. In the passive, the same. The ball, the ball was. was, the verb to be in past, was kicked by Anna. Look in the chat. The first ones are in present. The second one is in past, but we have Active, passive, active, passive. What is the difference? Only the verb to be. In present, is. In past, the verb was. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Anna. Any other questions? It's the same uh, in the future. Can you, Correct. Is can you do some mm -hmm. example? Yes. In, 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 in future. Okay, no problem. Uh, let me think. Give me a sec. Let me put this in. The same. Is the, the same. I'm going to use the same example. That way we can see. Let me put in the chat. Okay, so the active, sorry, in the future, Anna is going to kick the ball. The passive, the ball is going to be by Anna. going to be okay okay got it thanks you're welcome in this case you could use will be also or just going to ah okay good question no you you can use will be yes it, but it's always obligation you use the verb be will be kicked Okay. Mm -hmm. but, but it is correct. It is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. The ball is correct. The ball will be kicked by Anna. 
Okay. Okay. Now, one more thing. We watched only part of the video. Okay. We watched part of the video. Why? Because the objective of the class is for you to practice, for you to come to class prepared. How can you come to class prepared? Watch the videos before the class. That way, if you have any questions, you. you see the video is five minutes. We only watched the last part of the video, only the last two. So if you need more examples or more explanation, please, I recommend after class, you watch the video. In this moment, we're going to go with our groups and we're going to complete the exercises one through five in the knowledge check 1.2. So 1.2 with our partner, we're going to read the kiss and then select, okay? Now this is not kiss, kiss. This is not, uh, this is another. You have to understand when your partner, this is about music, a popular types of works of arts and music and things like that. So with your partner, you try, you look, and you select. Some of them maybe you know, some of them maybe you have to investigate or you have to look for, it, okay? But this is from 1.2 in the platform. Everybody's ready? Really not because I can, I can see the new model in my platform. Okay, and did you write to the office, Henry, and tell them? No, because in this moment, I check it. Hi, Henry. <laughs> so that's the reason. <laughs> All right, no problem, Henry. Make sure to write to the office, let them know. And today, you're going to have to work with the partners, um, maybe when they share the screen with you. Okay. 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 All right. So let's go with our partners and try. Omar, you having problems connecting? Yeah, to be sure, I have a problem, but um, I try. Remember, I try to... if you have problems, is sometimes if you turn off the camera, it helps with the internet because sometimes the video is too too strong for the internet. Okay, my camera is not okay. Mm -hmm. I understand you. Okay. Well, Okay, try without the camera. Try to connect. Again. Okay. You're ready. Okay. So let's see. Do you have the invitation for the room? Okay. Yeah, of course, T shirt. I'm okay. ready. Okay. Go ahead, Omar. Try to connect. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. No, Omar, it's not possible. No, not too sure. Let me let me put you to a different room. Maybe try a different room here.
All right, guys, let's see how you and your partners did. Think that was enough time for everybody to answer? What was number one, the kiss? Was painted by Gustav Klimt. Gustav Klimt. Okay, was painted, all right. What about the song yesterday? The Beatles. The Beatles. The Beatles. The Beatles. Ah, that one, everybody, huh? Okay. What about the film Schlender's List? Was, was directed by Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Excellent. The novel Pride and Prejudice was, right was written by James Austin. Right 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 Good. Everybody, the pronunciation was is written. 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 And the opera written. Carmen was, was composed, composed by, by George Bissett. George Bissett. There we go. George Bissett. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So here are the answers. If teacher, if I, I can, I, just go teacher, ahead. Sorry, I need to hear the pronunciation. Prejudice, prejudice, pride, prejudice. and prejudice. prejudice. Pride and prejudice. Okay. Correct. Prejudice. Thank you. Prejudice. 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 You're welcome. Prejudice. 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 And prejudice. Remember, if you don't have access to the platform. You can always watch the video and here you, in this moment of the video, you're going to see the correct answers, okay? The important is that you are doing the, the platform the same in the class. So while we are advancing in the class, also you are advancing in the platform together, okay? Now we're going to learn the different ways the letter O is pronounced. O, because this is, a, this is to help us with pronunciation. It's not a long video, but it's an important video to help with pronunciation. Hi, let's work on your pronunciation now. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Pronunciation. The letter O. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Not. Talk. No. Don't. Do. Food. One. Love. Remember to play the audio program as many times as you need to. It is important for you to notice the difference on pronunciation. We want you to practice a little bit more, so pronounce the following words. Okay, here we have several different words. Just listen to them. Did you get it? Work with me. Lock, hot. Own, wrote. Soon, who. Come, done. Good job. Okay. Now, as you can see, we are learning that really the O has four different pronunciations. There are four different types of sound, like A uh, for not or top. The O, like no. Oh, right? The U sound like do or food and the, uh, the one or love, okay? So here we have different pronunciations for the letter O. You can listen to the audio later and practice one more time. But here we have several words. Please listen and repeat. Even if your microphone is on mute, it's important that you practice the repetition. Here we have. Lock. 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 Exactly. Lock. Lock. No lock. No lock. 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 Yeah. Done. 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 Um. Mm -hmm. Good. Soon. 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 It's like a U sound, right? Soon. 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 We have wrote. 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 Out. Good. Then we have come. 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 Own. 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 We have hot. 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 That's right. It's not an O sound. It's not a hot. It's hot. 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 And the last one is who. 
Okay. So, don't worry. You can see we have several different pronunciations for the O sound. Later, you can go back and watch the video and participate and practice one more time. Okay. Here, we're going to practice. We're going to listen and practice a conversation between people asking for and giving information. Okay. Also, we're going to be able to see the use of passive a little bit more to get a better understanding of the passive. Let's watch the video and listen to the conversation. Hi, are you ready to listen to the conversation? This time we will listen to two people asking and giving information. They do so by using passive voice, but this time in simple present. Try to identify the sentences. I will underline them for you as soon as the conversation is over. Conversation. I need some information. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union? The euro is used in most of the EU. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh? Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Were you able to do it before I did? Nice. Now I want you to answer the following question. What three things does the man ask for the European Union? Write your answers on our discussion. Okay, sorry about that. So here, we're going to take a moment and we'll practice this conversation. I'm going to put it into the WhatsApp group in case you have problems seeing the video, okay? So if you have problems seeing the video, also it's in the WhatsApp group. Let me make sure. I think it was from today. I'm trying to make sure I have the right one. Okay. So we have... Can you see the image in the WhatsApp? Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. So what are we going to do with our partner? We are going to practice. One is Kelly, one is John, and then we change position. Then the other partner is John and I am Kelly, right? So one and one. One time Kelly, one time John. <laughs> Okay, let me just put a little bit less time. we're back again. Now we'll study passive voice in simple present without by. Please pay attention to the explanation, examples, and exercises. Passive without by, simple present. For the simple present, use the present of be plus past participle. 
active. They use the euro in most of the European Union. Passive. The euro is used in most of the EU. Active. They speak English in many European countries. Passive. English is spoken in many European countries. Active. They manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. Passive. A lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. As we saw with the simple pass, passive, we change the emphasis when we use the simple present passive. Instead of saying, they use the euro in most of the European Union, we can say the euro is used in most of the European Union. The focus changes from they to the euro, which is what we're interested in. Follow me here. I have these passive sentences to demonstrate how the by phrase is omitted here. The euro is used in most of the European Union by the people. Cars are manufactured in Europe by manufacturers. What I want you to notice is that the doer of the action in each of these sentences is obvious or not important. So the by phrase can be easily omitted. So this takes us to our structure. And because we're using simple present passive, this is what we have to work with. Is are present of be plus past participle. Can you now take a look at the following images and come up with one sentence using passive in simple present? Please write your sentence on our discussion box and ask your teacher to check it out for you. Okay, were there any words that you had difficulty pronunciating? Mm, European, European. Euro, like you, like you, European. European. Mm -hmm. Correct, good, Anna. I, I have a, a question about the, the currency because it's, it's Euro? Euro. 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 Correct. Euro. Euro. It's, um, it's some difficult. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and hair salon or salon Here. is right hang on let me take what was the the name or what was the word hair salon the last, uh, the last, ah, hair salon the last, hair salon uh, hair salon hair, correct hair, hair salon hair salon mm -hmm. okay hair Any other words? Travel again, again. Travel. Let me see. Agent. 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 Travel agent. Thank you. You are. Travel agent. No. Agent. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Yes, Yancy. Use it. No, use it. Let me see. Arrow is used. 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 Mm -hmm. Correct. The euro. Euro is used. Euro. Mm -hmm. Used. Okay. Europe and used. So, what did we learn today? Today, we learned what the platform works. Today we learned the minimum grade necessary. Today we learned how, what is the passive and what is the active voice. And then we practice the conversation. Out of those things that we learned, are there anything that is not clear for you? 
anything that you say, no, teacher, I didn't learn. I don't know. It's not clear. I'll teach. Okay, great. Remember, the platform is for you. It's for you. If you want to review, if you want to advance, if you want to watch the videos again, it's okay. The platform is to help you. Okay, guys? Okay. Okay, well, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much yeah. for coming. I thank you again tomorrow. This was our first class, and I'm glad that you came. So come tomorrow for our second class to learn and practice more. Okay. Thank you, teacher. 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 Thank you